Imagine what you did. What was the process before the Heimlich yeah. maneuver existed? You still think about that, right? Common. Uh, the life-saving technique has helped countless of people who choke. But the children of the doctor who invented this are actually calling out the Red Cross, saying that they aren't doing enough to make this the go-to move for choking victims. Yeah, Allison Rodriguez live now this morning. Allison, uh, how did this all start? This is interesting. Family getting involved. Do people not know the Heimlich enough? Oh, so the family of Dr. Henry Heimlich say uh, they were at a pool when they saw a Red Cross training class and they were shocked by what they saw, saying back blows were being taught instead of the Heimlich maneuver for people who were choking. So I spoke with Janet Heimlich, her father, inventing the move back in the 70s. Well, since then, it has helped thousands of choking victims. But despite that, according to Red Cross guidelines, they teach people to first do five back blows with the heel of your hand, and then if that doesn't work, people are instructed to do the Heimlich. That involves getting behind the victim, making the fist just above the navel, uh, navel and then thrusting up to dislodge that item. Well, so the Heimlich family saying this training is throwing valuable information here to the wayside. When they're teaching back lows first and they're focusing on that, then people aren't learning the fact that the Heimlich maneuver can be used on yourself. It's pretty hard to give yourself back lows. So still ahead, we brought these concerns straight to the Red Cross and they're going to give us a first hand look on their life saving training and what they're saying uh, to those accusations that they're wasting precious time by teaching those back blows. Back to you guys. All right, Allison, thank you for that. Well,